Yes, the two most pressing issues facing San Leandro are the economy and public safety. Um, I'm not going to beat the pension horse any longer. We've all heard my stance on that. Um, but I would like to talk about public safety for a minute because I agree with Councilman Prola that crime prevention is really what we should be focusing on. Because while serious crimes may be on the decline, other crimes are on the rise. And that's things like robberies. They don't call robberies a serious crime. Um, but our city police has cut our community prevention program. Those police officers that they hire are being reassigned. And this concerns me. This has been done without any consultation to neighborhood organizations or the community. And um, I just don't understand the logic of cutting a program that seems to be working. And I think we're going to be seeing some really negative consequences on that. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things that make a community safe. It's not just the number of police officers, but it's the kind of, of police prevention or crime prevention you're doing. It's engaging your neighborhood associations. We're never going to have enough money to have a police officer on every corner, so we need to empower our neighborhoods, empower our communities to take care of each other. You know, and so that, that's one of the things I really support uh, Councilman Crowell on that. I hope that he restores, reinstates those two police officers that have now been reassigned. So that's a concern. Um, and you know, the other issue is the economy. This is the same issue four years ago. I don't see you know the, the one billion dollars of investment. Two hundred million dollars of that was with our schools, which is great. The Measure B and Measure M, which I worked very hard to pass, and. Um, now and then the Kaiser Hospital, but now we need to really focus on this opportunity that we have before us with the LIT project. We need to be investing in businesses so that they can connect to it. We need to be making sure that every decision in terms of our community planning is geared around taking advantage of that opportunity. And we need to you know, look at um, you know, things that we may have thought was a good idea, like putting a conference center at the shoreline. Maybe that's not a good idea anymore now that we have this new broadband opportunity. Maybe we can develop uh, more revenue generating uh, operations out there with this opportunity. So yes, it's the economy, it's public safety. Um, I don't think much has changed in four years. And we need to change, we need to change faster. Uh, yes, perception, but what falls underneath perception, first I got way more than two issues, but I'm trying to keep moving, but perception. Perception that San Leandro is not a wonderful place. That needs to change. Perception that we don't already have wonderful businesses. Yes, we need more. But so we need to change the perception of how people, uh, even us, you know, who live here, we need to be telling people how wonderful San Leandro is, telling them about the marina, telling them about uh, the wonderful eateries that we have and the businesses and the people, and that we're a friendly town. So perception needs to be addressed. And lack of leadership, and leadership to reach out and grab and take advantage of the opportunities and the resources that we have, and to be strong leaders to stand up and negotiate contracts one thing with the pension, yes, we need pension reform, but, but it doesn't need to be presented in the way that we're trying to take something from them. We're not trying to take anything from any of the employees. We're asking them to please help invest in their future. And it needs to be sold correctly, and that's a part of perception. So we're not trying to take things away. We're trying to ask them to invest a little more in their future, and in turn, that's going to help us with the budget. And this city's not broke by any means. We have over 500 million, or close to 500 million in assets. That doesn't mean we're going to start selling everything, but what that means is we need to look at our resources. We need to see what, what we can lease, where we can generate revenue, and it's there. It's in something called the Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. That's separate from the general fund. So there's other monies, and we just need to think out of the box and start shuffling these monies to the places that you want them shuffled for the services and, and uh, you know uh, investments that you want. We're not broke, but we need to be ahead of the curve when you think outside of the box and the status quo must go. Thank you. I think it's going to sound like a repetitive that you've heard this numerous times, but the two pressing issues are the budget and safety. And they really could go hand in hand because in order to have safety, we have to fund police officers. How can we fund police officers if we don't have any money in our budget? Well, that all comes to economic development. That all comes to job creation. We have a beautiful marina 
that for the last 20 years I've been living here, people have been talking about our marina and developing marina. Well, now that I've been on the city council, we actually have Cal Coast and a shoreline development committee that have put together a mock-up of what exactly that marina could look like and what we can do with it. What we do is we take Kaiser and know people are going to need to go to Kaiser and have somewhere to stay if they have their loved ones in, in the hospital. So we want to build a hotel there. Have people stay here, generate revenue, spend money in San Leandro. We got Macy's to renew their, their lease with us for seven more years and put millions of dollars into their new Macy's. There's different things that can be done and will be done. And we're all moving in the right direction. Safety is key, but we have to have the funds to generate the police officers. Right now, we have we want to have 90 officers, but we have seven officers out of workman's comp. We can't cover all our beats. And it's a, it's a shame, because now we have to pull our two wonderful community police officers out of the office and into the patrol, because we have to have sworn officers to patrol our streets. 